Hi everybody, this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles and today we're going to do a reading for all the earth signs. So that would be Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So let's get started. So for the earth nation, let's see what we have for a collective read for our earth nation. The Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns out there. Ooh, we got Queen of Cups. Let's see what else we got for our Earth Nation. The Queen of Cups is a practical, romantic, emotional, honest, devoted, careful with money, the perfect wife or husband, loving mother or father, a nurturing personality, kind, sympathetic to the feelings of others. She has a positive effect on your life, or that could be you. So let's see here. It could be someone in your environment, or it can be you. This is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The collective of Earth Nation. Very grounded people. Very. So then we have Two of Cups. So a new love affair. You'll be in sync with one another. Two people finally come together after a long flirtation. A broken relationship is healed through forgiveness. Connections are made in business. The start of a new relationship that will have a dramatic effect on your life. And then we have the Three of Wands. Through careful planning, a goal or project long in your dreams will be realized. A new business or idea is assured. Anticipate obstacles and visualize how you will overcome them long before they appear. Develop contacts. Your exceptional leadership skills will be needed. Others consider you a visionary. Careful carefully weigh the risks, which is kind of nice for the Three of Wands and uh, Earth signs. This kind of represents you very well. And then we have the Eight of Cups. So disappointment, dissatisfaction, tired of the current situation. You have a bad attitude. Take action. Leave your current relationship or job. Indicates travel or relocation. Look elsewhere for happiness. Make dramatic changes in your life. Carry through with plans. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So there's, for some of you, you'll be walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. Uh, that's not agreeing. That's not working out. And that'll just be how it is at the moment. So there's some um, very good news coming in. There's a very uh, stable energy there for you. There's uh, new opportunities and realizations of uh, projects that you have. And there's the walking away. So this is a collective read. You take what resonates and you have fun throwing the rest out the door. <laughs> this is for our Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So we're going to add a clarifier with uh, my Completion of a Cycle Oracle deck. These are the cards that I made and I got them uh, printed. So I'm really happy with my work. So, all right, so let's see here. Let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Cups for our Earth Nation. Clarifier for the Queen of Cups. Clarifier for our Queen of Cups. All right. It says you've got this. You are worthy. So remember that about yourself. You are worthy. You've got this. Do not underestimate what you're capable of doing in a good way. Let's get a clarifier for the Two of Cups. It's a love offer. People coming together. It's a very nice story. Alright, clarifier for Earth Nation. Clarifier for the ooh, Two of Cups almost. Don't flip on me. Okay, I'm going to clarify your card for the Two of Cups. There's one that flipped. It says, take charge of your life. Your rights matter. So for those of you that it applies, take charge of your life and your rights matter. So that goes to clarify the Two of Cups. There may be some relationships that are not working out. But you take charge, you take responsibility for your part. And your rights matter. 
and each person takes responsibility for their own part and then you can reach resolution if that's where it goes. Let's get a clarifier for the three of wands here for the collective of Earth Nation. For Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Oh, there's one. It says, oh, realize that you are complete. Realize that you are complete. No matter what you're going through, realize that you are complete. Failure doesn't take away from you. It actually gives you a lesson. It gives you a piece of information of what went wrong and how you can actually fix it the next time around. Okay? So failure, success, that doesn't give or take anything away. You're still you. Let's get a clarifier for the Eight of Cups. It says yes. So that's the clarifier for the Eight of Cups. Make dramatic changes in your life. Carry through with plans. And the answer is yes. That's the clarifier for the Eight of Cups. All right. Let's get a Galactic Symbols card here for the collective. Galactic Symbols. For the collective of Earth Nation. Alrighty. For Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Let's see what we have. An advice or let's see what we have for an advice. We have two. Let's get a third one. Let's get one more. One more card. There we go. All right. Let's see what we have. We have triumph, wholeness, and connection. This is nice. The first card, for those of you that follow numerology, is the card number 11. It says triumph. And that's the card right there. Triumph. So it says, positive energy is being sprinkled in every aspect of your life. You are about to kick a personal goal that will be a boost for your confidence. Allow yourself to feel amazing. No mountain is too high to climb for you now. So aim high and start your ascent. A victory, regardless of size, heralds opportunity and is worth celebrating. A secret wish comes true. Nice. So there is triumph for the Earth Nation. Then we have wholeness. And it's card number 31. Look at that beautiful heart. Wholeness. A powerful desire to help people manifest as kindness, compassion, and will speed up your spiritual growth. Supporting someone else's vision or charitable work will make you feel whole again. Self-acceptance improves you and uh, self-acceptance improves and you will be making wonderful wonderful friendships with like-minded people. Forgiveness around an issue from the past is also forthcoming. Nice, very nice message. And then we have number two, connection. It takes two people to connect. <laughs> Harmony is of the utmost importance as friendships, family, or significant partnerships weigh on your mind. You may be forced to confront existing relationships and question how much or how little love you have in your life. You may step back from a relationship that is not working so you can enjoy more rewarding connections and long-term commitment elsewhere. So this is where the Eight of Cups, it's kind of like clarifying the Eight of Cups, where uh, it said that disappointment, dissatisfaction, tired of the current situation, take action, leave your current relationship or job, and you may be relocating, looking elsewhere for happiness, make the dramatic changes in your life, and carry through with plans. And it says, yes, you can go and do that if you wish, if you need to. You always follow your inner guidance, right? And uh, so, yes, it's, it's 
To get right connections in your life is important. Let's get a Moonology card for the Earth Nation here. Let's see what comes out as advice from the Moonology deck. Alright, for our Earth Nation, our Taurus, woo, Virgo, and Capricorn. Let's see, there's, there's a few that flip together. Alright, let's see. Alright, so we have... Confidence is your key to success. So if you want to be successful, confidence is what you need. To feel confident in the reading, it said, go and do something for your community. Offer some of your time if you have it. Then you'll feel confident you did something good for people. This is the new moon in Leo. So confidence is your key to success. Then we have, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Sometimes we're so stuck in the details of things, if we take a step back then we can see the whole situation and see it for what it is, not what we want it to be, how we wish it to be, because then we wouldn't be seeing clearly what's going on right in front of our eyes. So it's important to take a step back and look at things objectively and see if that matches up with your own life. Then we have a new start is coming. Nice. A new start is coming with the new moon. Nice. And then a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. So a new romantic cycle begins. And it's a balanced one. Alright. So... Since we're talking about a love relationship, we'll get the love angel, the romance angel cards here for the collective of Earth Nation. Let's see what we have for our Earth Nation. Whoa! Okay. Take them all? Sure. So we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So for some of you, you may need to take that step back and actually retreat for a little bit just to re-energize soulmate yes this is your soulmate for some of you the one you're with is your soulmate the one you met or going to meet release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so for those of you that are leaving a relationship make sure you do the cleansing and don't and you release the energy of the ex so that uh, you don't attract the same kind of person that didn't work out in the first place and then passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Nice. Take that time. To enjoy the little moments in life that are so fleeting. And it'll bring up your confidence. It'll make you feel good. So I'm going to use the uh, Angel Answers cards here. And if you want, you can pause the video, ask a question, and let's see what the answers are for it. The Collective of Earth Nation. What is the answer to Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn's questions? All right. Woo. Let's keep them all. Maybe it's my clumsiness, or let's keep them all. So, for those of you that asked a question, the answer is yes. Isn't that nice? And then, for others, the situation will improve. Also, you got, for those of you that yes is not an answer or it's not complete, meditation brings answers. So, meditation is a good daily practice. And for those of you that were asking for a timing, it says within the next few weeks. And helpful people. Helpful people be around you. And also for that other little question that you keep asking over and over, the answer is no. So we have a yes, the situation will improve, meditation brings answers, within the next few weeks you'll get helpful people, and then the answer will be no. So take it how it resonates for you. 
document. I believe that is the reading for, oh, I gotta add something for our Earth Nation. I have little charms here. Let's see what it says for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Welcome, and it's a pineapple. It's a pineapple, and it says, upside down. It says, welcome. Wherever you go, make yourself feel at home. Make yourself comfortable. And then it'll make other people around you also comfortable. So this has been your reading for the Earth Nation for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I am Tina from Cosmic Turtles. And this has been your reading for now. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.